Well, let's turn our attention to the big screen and, of course, its impact on the little screen. Movie makers will be celebrating 27 years of freedom through film later this month. The One People International Film Festival is going to be held uh, down in beautiful Cape Town to celebrate the best of local and international films. More than 200 submissions, I understand, are uh, expected from around the world. Well, let's uh, welcome to ENCA a man very involved with this year's event, uh, one of the festival directors and very well-known actor. It's a pleasure to welcome Welcome to ENCA, Hakim Kai Kazim. Hakim, good morning to you. I think so many people will know you, of course, from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Black Sails, Riding with Sugar, some of your more uh, recent work. And yet here we are. I find you in Cape Town, isolating, I understand. How are you and the family handling the isolation? Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're all very, very good. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful city to be uh, to be in and have to be isolated. You have to be isolated anywhere. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're we're all good. We and we give thanks for that. You know, the kids are great, and the wife is great. So, we give uh, big thanks for that. Well, let's let's hope it stays like that as well uh, from from all of us here. Well, the One People International Film Festival, uh, you couldn't have chosen a better spot for this to be hosted, of course. Tell me about this, uh, because 27 years of freedom, incredibly significant landmark uh, in, in South Africa's timeline, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, South Africa's freedom and uh, celebration of South Africa's freedom and democracy. And uh, the idea was to, to launch this film festival as... Uh, a film festival which would celebrate sort of that, but also it's a film festival that brings in films and filmmakers from all over the world. And it's it's a hybrid film festival. This is what we get because of COVID and because of what's happened with COVID, we decided we'd do a hybrid film festival, which means that we're both online mm. and in person. And because of technology, we've been able to do that. And, uh, you know, the other thing with the film festival is that it's here to help focus film because it's been so devastated in, 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 in Cape Town and, and in South Africa. So it's here to really celebrate uh, the film and entertainment industry. It's here really to sort of um, bring a focus to that and also to help with the, the, you know, the hospitality and, and, and tourism industry. Cape Town is a beautiful city. South Africa is a beautiful country. And um, you know, the hope is that this film festival will attract filmmakers from all over the world and locally and they'll come down to Cape Town and celebrate not only with their films, but also celebrate afterwards the beauty of the, of the Western Cape, the Northern Cape, the Eastern Cape, the whole of the country. Uh, South Africa is a stunning place, and I can't wait for people to come and really see it. Not just Cape Town as well, the whole country. It's, it's beautiful here. And, uh, you know, I would love, um, the idea of the festival is to try and make this festival the can of Africa, which I think it can be. I love that, the can of, of Africa. And I imagine, uh, Hakim, that last year with lockdown and everything going online, uh, it would have uh, possibly forced those who wouldn't traditionally have gone the digital online route uh, for submissions and to find audiences. It would have, uh, I think everyone's using the word pivot at the moment and change the way that they're, they're thinking and delivering their content. I imagine uh, it's given you a wealth uh, of content for this year, hasn't it? It really has, and uh, you know what's really been interesting as well. Not only do we have a, a content from, you know from from submissions from all over the world, but also where the part of the festival is about bringing indigenous voices, those voices that are not sort of as clearly heard. Mm. So we've had some great submissions from from them as well. Uh, uh, just native peoples and indigenous sort of submission. And also what we've done is we've got a COVID section. And this uh, is really uh, um, the COVID section of the Film Fest was really to sort of let people see what other people, other filmmakers have made and, and, and people's stories around the whole COVID issue and, and how they've uh, managed and, and, and what challenges they've had. And uh, so this is a very special um, uh, section of, of, of shorts that we've got there, which will just let people tell their stories about their experiences in and around the COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, let's talk about some of those submissions, if uh, we could, in the last minute or so I have with you, uh, Hakim. People watching now, uh, are we going to be able to, as an audience, watch this live and, and share the experience with you? And those who just realize now that maybe their voice has not been heard in the industry, can they still make submissions? No, I think it's too late for submissions now. The, the festival is actually, uh, we're, our day of launching is on the 27th. So submissions, everything have been in. We've got the festival uh, line up already. Um, and we're, you know, what's exciting is we're in partnership with um, New Metro at the Can at Canal Walk and, and the Grand West. 
and uh, so the new metro will be, will be showing all the, the films that we're we're hosting and uh, and also you'll be able to get them online as well so it's a very exciting time it's a very interesting sort of little space for us to be in this hybrid film festival both online and in person and uh, as I said, hopefully moving forward, this is going to attract a lot of people to come to the festival. But not only that, but to come and and and, and see 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 South Africa, see the Cape, and uh, encourage film and, uh, and and tourism and and, and hospitality in this region. It, it's going to be a wonderful festival, I'm sure. My thanks to uh, you this morning in speaking to us, Hakim Kai Kazim, uh, Hollywood actor, and in this particular occasion, speak to us uh, about uh, the One People International Film Festival. He is the uh, film director, he is the director of this year's uh, festival as well. That's coming up on the 27th of April.